Into us, into us, burning at both ends. For your love, for your love, let me fall again. Into love. Hello my stars, welcome back to my channel, Goddess of Stars Tarot, it's your celestial baddie Karen and she's back with another one. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome and if you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate the love and support. Y'all already know what to do, like, comment, share, most importantly smash the notification bell so you know when your girl is going to upload another reading or when she is going to go live. And if you don't know, yes I do do private readings. If you would like one, you can check out the description box below or you can go to my website, goddessofwhispers.com. How is my baddies doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing, but this is going to be an ancestral message or a message that you need to know right now. So we're going to use a lot of Oracle decks to channel the energy to see what you need to know in this moment or at this time. This is also going to be a timeless reading. So let's dive into the energy and see what is surrounding you and what you need to know. All right. Keep in mind, this will not resonate with each and every one of you. So take what does and leave the rest. Calling on my ancestors and spirit guides and sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Protect us as we go into the divination of tarot. What is the message that we need to know today? What will help to bring clarity to our path? What is it that we need to know today? Well, that's so funny. This was coming to me prior to even reading. I didn't even do a pre-shuffle, but this was coming to me. So we have attachment to start us off. So this could be attachment to bad habits, attachment to the past. This energy is telling you that it's time to break the chains, make yourself free of situations that could be holding you back in your life or situations that is not elevating you in some way, shape or form. It could even mean here for some of you hiding behind something that you truly aren't, right? Or becoming someone that you truly aren't. Maybe to be a certain way in the world or be viewed a certain way in the world. It's telling you to release things that is not helping you at this time to elevate. Now is a time to make a change. So this is what the message is to start us off. And we're going to see why this is here. We are going to see why this is here. All right. What else, what else do you have for a spirit? I'm, I'm hearing pure, something about being pure, maybe being pure and your true, true, authentic self is the message, but most importantly, liberating yourself from, it could even be attaching yourself to relationships that may not be right fitting and suiting for you. It could be maybe even attaching yourself to the past here for some of you. We have masculine. Okay, so this energy is about needing to use logic in your life. Time to be very rational. This could even be a divine masculine energy that you are attaching yourself to, Aquarius. And this is about not allowing your emotions to influence you as well. So the message here, Aquarius, for you is to be more logical in your approach. Be more logical in the way that you are thinking in situations here. This is about stepping into your divine-like state, Aquarius, but also to uh, detaching yourself from situations that may not be giving you maybe the emotional support that you need right now, Aquarius, to help you maneuver. But your overall message is about being rational about a situation or logical about a situation, maybe detaching yourself from emotions if you are emotionally attached to something that is not benefiting you or helping you to elevate in some way, shape, or form. We also got tarot cards that flipped. Wow, this is actually, <laughs> this is actually clarifying that the message that you are receiving, Aquarius, is indeed the message for you. So something is holding you back, Aquarius, it is indicating here. We do have tarot cards, which is indicating receiving tarot card guidance. It's saying that now is a time to receive 
some sort of guidance, but because this is an actual tarot reading, the guidance is already right here in this reading Aquarius with the tarot cards energy. So there's an energy surrounding you, Aquarius, a masculine energy that you need to detach yourself from. Okay, but let's dive a little bit deeper and see what's going on. What else? What else? What else? Yep. We have time for a nap. So there is a situation, Aquarius, that you need to take a break from. Maybe this situation here is draining you. This could be time for you to just sit back and relax. Even if it's someone here that, let's say, that you're romantically involved with. This just came to me. So let's say that you are reaching out to this person, maybe for this person to reach out to you or speak to you, Aquarius. Maybe it's a time for you to just take a break. Push the push the pause button on that. You know, let's see what they do. You know, when you once you pull your energy back. Okay, that that's what makes people gravitate to you when they see you're no longer interested. Become the gem, become the diamond, right? Become that rare force that they seek. So I truly feel like now's the time for you Aquarius to rest, rejuvenate, and re renew your energy or recharge your energy. But this is about taking no action at this time. For some of you here, you may be tired. Now may be a time Aquarius for you to take a nap. Maybe you're overexerting yourself. Maybe you're overdoing things. Maybe taking on too much, too much responsibilities in your life, right? But the message right now is to let go of something. Something is holding you back, right? Maybe you are over sleeping or over tired, right? Maybe you are being lazy, Aquarius. Right. And it could be due to attachment. Maybe you're not achieving the things that you need to achieve, but it is indicating here, Aquarius, that it's time for you to take a break, maybe from something that could be overly emotional in your life. That's hindering you from achieving the things that you want to achieve. We have fork in the road. Aquarius, I feel like you are going to be faced with a very, very important decision. For some of you, there's a decision that you are not facing, meaning that you are at a point in your life where you don't know what direction to go in. So you could feel like you are at some sort of crossroads in your life and it could be due to some sort of attachment. So maybe feeling stuck at this point in your life and needing maybe help to find your way or not knowing how to find your way is what the message is indicating. But you're going to have to make a decision soon, Aquarius. You know, consider all of the outcomes in a situation in your life in order to help you to navigate which way to go. But nonetheless, Aquarius, you're going to have to make a decision sooner or later. Because right now, you are at a fork in the road. It's almost like you are in some sort of limbo. I'm seeing like hangman energy, maybe even hermit energy for some of you here. We had two cards that flipped. We have prosperity in the reverse and victory in the reverse. Victory and success. So this is the six of wands in the reverse and the ace of pentacles in the reverse. So Aquarius, I feel like the attachments that you are attaching yourself to Aquarius is keeping you from succeeding. Uh, the energy that is surrounding you or this attachment that is hindering you is keeping you from being successful ultimately. For some of you here, um, you may be feeling like you are being overlooked or maybe someone here is not having the confidence that they need to achieve the things that they would like to achieve. This energy is representing like feeling like you are failing at life or that you are some sort of failure or not being recognized by someone that you could be attached to here emotionally, right? But it's hindering your overall outlook on, on life here, Aquarius. So this time for a nap card could mean time to reflect too. 
you know, it's about recharging your energy in some way, shape or form, Aquarius. I feel like you're missing out on a lot of opportunities because of this attachment you have to something. It's almost like opportunities is passing you by. It's what it's saying. Um, let's see what came out. We also have uh, partnerships and alliances. So now may be a time, Aquarius, for you to connect with the right people that is going to help you to elevate and reach your goal and your full potential, right? It could be now, now may be a time for you to put in the work towards things or maybe set up some sort of goal or plan for yourself that is going to change your outcome and circumstances, we have destiny showing up here for you in the reverse. So I feel like this is not your true path, Aquarius. This is not the, the life path that your spirit guides have for you is what it's indicating here. And what's, what's controlling this path is your attachment to something. Needing to detach your, 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 and this masculine energy can be very fixed type of energy, which is Aquarius energy anyway. So it's about detaching yourself from something that I feel like you're emotionally attached to, right? And it could keep, it could be keeping you from thinking logically or being rational in a situation. But this destiny card is telling me that this is something that is setting you back. This could be unexpected changes here that you're having in some sort of relationship or connectionship, especially with the partnership and alliance card being here. We have the base chakra in the reverse. So Aquarius, because of this attachment is causing your foundation, right? The foundation in you we're going to end with this last card, stand your ground. Yeah, look at that. Next, look, the next card is firm, firm foundation. The, the messages are very clear. Okay. So Aquarius, this, this message for you is about, uh, the instability in a situation here for you, Aquarius. Instability in your, your foundation, which is affecting your success, your overall success in life. There's a balance here that needs to happen. And this attachment is affecting your destiny. It's affecting your outlook on life. And the overall path of life is to, to get into your North node, right? This is what this energy can represent in the upright. But it's about facing your south node in order to get to your north node. And it has something to do with, even if you have to, Aquarius, go back to the basics, right? The chakra can be the basics. What is it that you are so attached to that is keeping you from being your true self? Right? Right? I feel like Aquarius, you're somebody who's very victorious. You're somebody who's very strong, uh, passionate about the things that you love and like in life. It's about finding that passion again. There's a lot of wands here. It's about finding that passion again, Aquarius, especially we have the uh, stand your ground energy showing up for you. And you see how this person's standing their ground. This person's standing on business. This is an energy of like fighting for what you want in life. Right? Putting boundaries, healthy boundaries in place to protect your energy and to help you elevate. No longer playing the blame game, right? On why you are where you are, but now coming up with a solution to overcome it. So Aquarius, my advice to you is about setting up some strong boundaries here for yourself and figuring out 
how to release yourself from this that is attaching you. This attachment that you have to something or someone that is keeping you back from elevating and being your true authentic self, but also to claiming what's rightfully yours, success. Now is the time to make a decision. Even if it means that you need to take a pause and a break to reflect. But you're going to have to start somewhere and do it for you, Aquarius. So let's get some advice to close out your reading. What is the advice? Cut the deck. We have reveal what needs to be seen. Give me one more. I was just about to shuffle. So Aquarius, this is about going deep, right? I feel like the advice is telling you this is what needs to be seen. What needs to be seen is the whole message of this reading, releasing yourself from something that's, that's holding you back. You may not see it that way, but it's something you are heavily attaching yourself to. Maybe unconsciously. But you're attaching yourself to this situation. Scorpio energy can be very uh, possessive, obsessive. Aquarius can be that, especially because we don't give our love uh, so easily to people, places, and things. We're very selective in that way. Look at that. The bottom of the deck is detoxify. And then you had shine. It's keeping you Aquarius from, from achieving your goals. It's keeping you Aquarius from living the life that you want to live. And now is the time for you to meet that fork in the road and make a decision. Now is the time to de detoxify your soul. What soul attachment or connectionship you have to something that is holding you back? Now is the time to detoxify and cut the cord. I love you, my stars, and I wish nothing but abundance and that success. And you know what? We're going to change those words because words are powerful. I love you, stars. You are nothing but abundance, success, and love. Love you to the moon and back. Ciao.